Hello everyone, I'm Julianne Huff and I'm excited to share with you everything I eat in a day. So first things first, the minute I wake up in the morning, the first thing that I do when I open my eyes, I drink my lemon water that I've prepped the night before. And that usually consists of lukewarm temperatured water with a half a lemon and sitting overnight really getting all those juices blushed out in there. And the reason why I take it first thing in the morning is we've just been laying down, we're sleeping, and anything that was kind of left residue from the night before, I can take that lemon water and feel like I'm cleaning my system out, starting with a fresh palette for the day. Then it kind of depends on what my, my morning routine looks like as far as my exercise, my breath work, my meditation. But usually I find a way to either do some sort of celery juice or something that also gives me a little bit of sugar before I go uh, do a quick workout. Or I'll do like amino acids or something like that to just give me that support, that energy that I'm looking for. So that's my morning. Now, I drink coffee not because I feel like I need it, but because I love the ritual of having something warm, that smell, and I just love the taste of coffee. I'm technically not supposed to have coffee, so it is like a special treat for me if I do have coffee. So in return, I will do a matcha tea or a matcha latte. That's sort of my other cozy favorite. Um, otherwise, I try to stick to herbal teas, and that's always really helpful throughout the day. So after my first half of my work day and I'm ready for lunch, I love soup. So I will usually make a lot and freeze it so that I can have it throughout the week. I'm really big on variation. So I don't eat the same thing every day, but today I'm going to have a butternut squash soup with carrot. And this is like the Ayurvedic way. So um, all plant-based and uh, vegan. For my salad, I'm going to keep it really fresh with some asparagus, broccolini, some beets, watermelon radishes with some uh, ginger on top over a bed of spinach. Some of the dressings that I really like to use, um, apple cider vinegar. Honestly, I know it sounds pretty dull, but it helps the digestion first and foremost. If I'm lucky, I'll find some sort of like gluten-free cracker. And by the way, I sound so LA right now with all this gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, but it's because my body needs it. Cause trust me, do I love flour? I love sugar, I love cookies, I love all the things, but I'm really just trying to focus on my health from the inside out. All right, dinner time. So. I have this mung doll that I've prepared. Some free crackers, uh, some toasted black sesame seeds, and then of course I'm gonna make some uh, sides as well. So we've got sweet potato, asparagus, uh, some ginger, collard greens, uh, Swiss chard, spinach. Now, this is dinner. This is really nourishing, really yummy. I feel really full by the end of it. But one of the things that I do love is making sure that I'm still having pleasure with my food throughout the day. And that's when I either choose to have a glass of wine or a cocktail, depending on the occasion. So if it's just me by myself here, I'll put on a Zoom with one of my girlfriends and we'll have a glass of wine, which speaking of, this is one of my favorite wines. It's my wine with my best friend Nina, so, you know, shameless plug. That's usually what I like to do to cap off my really nourishing day. If I could give you any uh, words of encouragement with what you eat, it's enjoy yourself, everything in moderation, and if you love your body and you love what you're putting into your body, your body's gonna know. So if you're already telling yourself, oh, I shouldn't be eating this and, oh, then your body's gonna have that stress and hold on to it. So if you're gonna do something, if you're gonna drink, if you're gonna have a, a yummy sweet tooth, then enjoy it. Like take the pleasure in it. All right, that my friends is everything I eat in a day.